What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you potential crash fixes for Sons of the Forest. This will help you if your game's crashing randomly, if you're not able to start it up properly, or if you're stuck in the infinite loading screen. The last of which could just be a really slow PC or things not lining up properly, especially with hard drives. You may have to wait a while on that loading screen to get past and into the menu or into the game. But regardless, let's get into it. There'll be a few general tips to help with the game not loading and crashing randomly in this video. If you find any of these solutions work for you, please do let me know in the comments down below. It should be useful for other people as well to see what works and what doesn't. So the first thing to do, of course, is locate Sons of the Forest in your launcher of choice. Mine's Steam. I'll right click the game here, click Properties. On the Local Files tab here, I'll click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Even if you think it's stupid and you've done it 10,000 times, surprisingly, verifying game files does often fix any issues that you have with your game, even if you've just installed it. Let's say that doesn't work. The next thing to try is obviously updating your graphics card driver. You'll find links in the description down below for AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. And while you're at it, check for Windows updates as well. Assuming you do update anything, do a full restart of your PC and see if the game works properly. But odds are you've probably already tried that. The next thing that we can try and do is making sure that Visual C++ redistributables are installed properly. You'll find a link for this down in the description below. It'll take you across to Microsoft's page here. When you get here, you're looking for Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Right below this, you'll find a few download links. Click the link next to X64 here. Then when it downloads, open it up and choose Repair. Otherwise, if you see Install, click that instead. On top of this, you'll find a link to the latest DirectX runtime. Seems like click the Edge ad there. When you head across here, select your language and choose Download. Then wait for it to finish. Open up DX Web Setup and inside of here, accept Next. Untick the Bing bar, Next, and wait for DirectX to install completely. When it's done, hopefully the game should work properly. You shouldn't need to restart your PC after this, but you can if you'd like. Then next, we can try resetting our game's settings, assuming the crash started appearing after changing a few game settings, and now the game's not launching at all. Hold Start and press R to bring up the Run dialog, and inside of here, type in Percentage, App Data, Percentage, and hit Enter. Then inside of this new folder browser here, head back to App Data at the very top, and open up Local Low. Inside of here, you're looking for End Night. Open this up, and you'll see Sons of the Forest. This is where your save games will be, your settings, etc. Simply rename this folder, and by doing so, the game will no longer be able to find it, and all of your in-game settings should have been reset, just like that. If you try and fire up the game now, hopefully things work properly. At least your graphic settings and things like that should be reset. For an extra trick, we can right-click Sons of the Forest, Manage, Browse Local Files, and we can run the game as admin to make sure nothing on our PCs stopping it from accessing the files that it needs. Right-click Sons of the Forest.exe and choose Run as Administrator. Do note, if you're using things like Discord and OBS, your hotkeys for those will stop working properly while you're tabbed into the game. You'll need to start those as admin as well for your hotkeys to continue working while you're tabbed in. Assuming that doesn't work, we can try to force a specific DirectX version. Right-click Sons of the Forest, choose Properties, and on the General tab, find Launch Options. Inside of here, we can add hyphen DX12, for example, or DX11, and we can even try D3D11. This will try to launch the game in different versions of DirectX, possibly having better compatibility with your graphics card. More than likely, D3D11 or DX11 should help you here. Now, assuming you're still having issues, something that often adds to game's instability is overlays. The more overlays you have running, the worse performance you usually have, and if you have too many of them or ones that don't work properly, they could crash your game out entirely, anything that hooks into the game. For example, recording with OBS Studio, if you try recording your desktop instead of hooking into the game with a game capture, you may have better compatibility and results if recording with OBS is causing the crash. Otherwise, we're speaking of overlays, the Steam overlay, Discord overlay, NVIDIA overlay, everything else that draws on top of your game may be adding to the instability. For example, to turn off the Discord overlay, open up Discord and head into user settings in the bottom left. Then scroll down on this list here, 
to a game overlay under activity settings and inside of here just turn off the in-game overlay. By doing so, you should improve compatibility. Still, if things aren't working, let's try messing with a few Windows settings. The first of which will likely help you if you're on a PC with multiple graphics cards or a laptop with an integrated and a dedicated powerful gaming GPU. Hit start and type in graphics, we'll be opening graphics settings. You can also navigate here in your settings by heading to system, display, scrolling all the way down and choosing graphics. Now inside of here, you should see a list of apps that you can add or remove and customize. Click add desktop app on Windows 11. It may be named a bit different for you on Windows 10. Then we need to navigate across to where the game is installed. To find it, inside of Steam, right click Sons of the Forest, manage, browse, and copy the link at the very top simply by clicking in an empty space, right click, copy. Then inside of the folder browser, click in an empty space once more, right click, paste, and enter. Now we can select Sons of the Forest.exe, click add, and locate it on the list. Click it to expand it, and for GPU preference, set it from Windows to Decide to High Performance. This should be your more powerful graphics card. On Windows 11, you'll also have optimizations for windowed games. This could be causing issues if it's on or off, depending on your PC if you're running Windows 11. Now, assuming things still aren't working, we can try messing around with virtual memory. Essentially, it's extra RAM on your PC using hard drive or SSD space in order to help RAM when it overflows, for example. For this, hit start and type in performance. We'll be opening adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and inside of him we'll see this pop up. On the advanced tab at the very top we'll see virtual memory. Click change in the bottom right. Now it should be selected as automatic. If not, tick automatic and click OK. Apply and then things may be working properly. If they're not, untick automatic. Select your C drive where Windows is installed, then select custom size and inside of here in megabytes we'll be entering roughly one and a half to two times the amount of RAM you have. Let's say you have eight gigabytes of RAM. You'll enter maybe 12,000 in here, which is about one and a half times, maybe a bit more, the amount of RAM in your PC. Then the maximum size should be set to around two or three times. So for eight gigs of RAM, that'd be 8,000. Doubling it, it would be roughly 16,000. Then click set. Now, OK and apply, and you'll need to reboot your PC in order for changes to take place here. Hopefully at this point, following a reboot, things should work properly. Now, finally, one of the weird fixes that I've heard of working for some people is moving the game from a hard drive or a slower drive to a faster SSD. Assuming you have multiple drives in your PC, right-click Sons of the Forest, choose Manage, choose Properties, then Local Files, and from here you'll be choosing Move Install Folder. Then you can select another drive on your PC to move it to. Assuming you have a faster drive, or one that just doesn't have Windows on it, for example, it may improve compatibility of the game. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found your solution here. If something did help you, do make sure to leave a comment down below to help other people as well. So, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!